Hello and welcome to another webcast brought to you by Nerd Enterprises Incorporated. I'm happy that you've decided to join with us, whether it's live or recorded. Either way, it should be just as good. It's a little better live because you can ask me a question and I might answer it. Very quickly, before I get into today's content, I want to go over what we're looking at here. I've got the Nerd Enterprises Inc. Learning Center. We have QuickBooks classes. We have Excel classes, PowerPoint, Outlook. Let me spend a second on Outlook here. I know everybody thinks they know how to use Outlook. You can get your email. You can create folders and file your email. But I can guarantee you there's some tricks I can show you in Outlook that when I show you them, you're going to say, oh my god, I can't believe you could do that. Productivity downloads. Go to our website. The orange button on the left is the one that says Learning Center and in there you'll find all the downloadable products we have classes in Outlook and all these classes we have uh, the productivity downloads is one of the topics in the first row and in there you have some Excel spreadsheets I've created that you'll find will help you increase productivity there's an hourly biller there's a margin scenario calculator which is uh, much more than a profit margin calculator it lets you play with different scenarios and see, well, if I want to lower the total price, how many fewer units can I sell based on that, and so on and so forth. And, of course, webinars, which is sort of what you're seeing right now, kind of. You can click these links. If you're watching this on YouTube, the links won't work, but if you're watching this directly off of one of our sites, then they will. It means it's playing in your Flash Player, and these links are live. You can go right to the QuickBooks blog, the main blog, or our main website and the main website is where you'll find the learning center let's get on with business I want to teach you something about Excel today because we haven't done much in Excel in a while so we're gonna do Excel and I saw something on the web a lot of times I'm inspired by what I see others doing in terms of tutorials on the web and I noticed something earlier this week <clears throat> that somebody was doing a tutorial on conditional formatting in Excel. So I thought I would do one. Of course, I'll do it better. Just kidding. But I want to show you how to do something pretty cool. This is something actually that I do a lot when I create a timesheet or anything that has anything to do with dates or date sensitivity. Let's say, for example, that I'm laying out a timesheet. One of the most critical things, of course, in a timesheet is that I have to lay out the date. And sometimes it's handy to have the weekday. I'll show you an extra bonus tip on that. The first thing I want to do is be able to put today's date in for a few reasons. One, it's handy to know what today's date is while I'm working on something that's date sensitive. But also I'm going to tie this in to the conditional formatting so that we can... Uh, light up today's date in the list of dates. You'll see what I'm talking about. In order to get today's date in a cell, I start out with an equal sign. I type the word today and simply open and close parentheses. And Excel will pull it right off the clock. I can format this date any way I want. Control and the numeral 1 will bring up my format cells dialog. That's the shortcut. And you'll see my options in terms of date formatting. I can even go with the long form but I'm not going to. I personally prefer the double digit format. That way the dates always line up nicely. Now let's say we're going to start with the date section of the timesheet. And let's say we want to set up a timesheet for an entire month, even though the month is almost over. We'll put in 8109. And then I can actually simply add to that by typing the plus sign and saying, take what's in the cell above and add one. Let's copy that down. I need to widen this. And that takes us into the end of August. Again, control one. And we will format for double digits. Now comes the fun part. We want to do conditional formatting. So if I go over into, you know, it's funny, I know the shortcut key, I don't remember where it is in Excel 2007 exactly. But if I go here, right on my home tab is conditional formatting, that's a tricky one. Now, you can play around with these options here, but for this purpose I want to show you how to just start off with a brand new rule. 
And again, lots of options here, but I want to go right to format cells that contain. That's where the sort of dialogue is. And here again, choices. When the cell value is equal to today's date, then I want to set the formatting. This is the easy way to do it. So I, I clicked on format, and now I want to s tell Excel what's the format going to be when it equals today's date. So let's say I want to kind of light it up. I actually want the font to be red, and I want the fill or the background to be yellow. It gives me a preview here. Let's go back and bold the font. You can do all kinds of stuff. The idea is to make it stand out. And you'll see now what it's going to look like if and when there's a match. Now, of course, this one's not going to light up because it doesn't equal today's date. But now what I want to do is I want to copy and I want to highlight the rest of the range and then I want to paste my formatting. So I go to Paste Special, Formats, OK. Notice August 26th is now lit up. How cool is that? Now let's say I want a weekday in here. Here's the bonus tip since I do have a few more minutes. Weekday. What I want to do is set up a table of weekdays. So what I do is I say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Oh my god, this is so much fun. It's just like Sesame Street. Sunday. And I can use my fill command. You'll notice when I move my uh, mouse over to the bottom right corner on the cell pointer, I can drag down and it fills it all in. So now I've got Sunday through Saturday. Let's name this range. We go to formulas, define name, call it weekdays. Almost any time you see a spreadsheet I've created, you're going to see something like this. Let's get rid of an extra column or two. Now I've named this range weekdays. So now let's come back over here. And Excel has a command. It's called weekday. And what it does is it returns the number of a weekday based on that date. But you'll see it gives me a number. Well, that's no good. So I want to look up that number, and I want it to tell me what day that is. So I do equals V lookup weekday. Use the arrow to point one to the left, because that's where my date is. Where am I going to look for it? Well, I just named a range called weekdays, and it's going to pull the result from column number two. And there it is. And because I named the range, I don't have to worry about relative referencing or any of that stuff. And I'm good to go. And now I can have description, and so on and so forth. This is how you do it. So now I've taught you bonus stuff. I've got you the conditional formatting, and I taught you how to do a simple VLOOKUP on a simple named range to produce a nice result. And of course I can come back here and I can use the full day instead of using the abbreviation. And by simply changing it here, you'll see it will change instantly over here. And you might want to left justify these. It'll probably look a little prettier. And that is pretty much it, kids. So uh, visit us on the web at www.nerdenterprises.com and ask us any questions. We'll give you the answers. We'll tell you how to live your life. No, I'm just kidding. But visit us on the web and check us out. I hope you enjoy our webcasts.